guys, I'm Lizzie the Laboratorian, and today I want to do some experiments with you to learn more about germs. So what we're going to do is take some art supplies, you can use whatever you have at home. I have paper and markers and tape, and we're going to draw some germs. You can look these up on the internet to see what different types of germs look like. They could be bacteria, or viruses, or fungus. I'm going to draw a After I've drawn it and colored it just how I want, you can take as much time as you want to do that, I'm going to cut it out or have an adult help me cut it out if I'm too young to use sharp scissors, right? And then we're going to have something that looks like this. And you can make as many as you want. It's a fun art project. After you do that, this is the important science part of the experiment. Go and do the things you normally do during the day and everything you touch, put a germ on it. So I'm going to get an apple. I touched it, I'm gonna put a germ on it. Then I go to use my big spoon and I touched it, so I have to put a germ on it. So every time I touch things, the germs that might be on my hands are going on those things and I wanna make sure that I know where they are so that later I can wash my hands and clean those surfaces. And that's what we're gonna do next. we're gonna learn how to get germs off of surfaces where germs have gotten on. So for our special germs today, we're gonna to use pepper, which you probably have at home. And you could use pepper, you could use coffee, as long as your mom says it's okay, because mom does not wanna be without her coffee, right? Uh, or you could use um, salt, it's just harder for you to see. So we're gonna use pepper, and my pepper are my fake germs. So I'm gonna open this up, I'm gonna pour it out on my surface, and now there's germs all over the counter. It's a big mess. So I wanna think about how can I get these germs off of the counter? So I have a paper towel. Let's try to wipe the germs up and see what happens. Ugh, it just spreads them around. Look, there's barely any on the paper towel. So a dry paper towel alone won't work. How about cleaner? I have some spray cleaner here. Let's spray the germs and see if they go away. Now they're just wet. <laughs> they didn't go anywhere. So the important thing to know when you're trying to remove germs from a surface is that you need both the cleaner and friction, right? You have to actually move your hand with the cleaner to remove them from the surface. So let's use one of these wet wipes. These are something that you might have at home. There's brand names like Clorox and Lysol and things like that. And these come and they're already wet and they're a little paper towel. So when we use one of these, it's much easier to clean up those germs. Look at how many we picked up on that, right? So when you clean something and you want to get germs off the surface, you need the moisture, the wet product, and the paper towel together, and then you need to use friction and move your hand around to remove the stuff from the surface. So when I have a wipe like this, I can get rid of all of my germs. See, germs are gone, germs are gone germs are gone. This is Lizzie the Laboratorian signing out. Thanks for doing science today with me guys. Wash your hands. 